Welcome, dear students. Welcome to Grade 10 Biology. We will start with Unit 1 description for this year. We will start with the nature of life. We will talk in this unit will uh, will include two chapters. This is in general talking. For the first chapter, we'll talk about the science of biology. The second one will be talking about the chemistry of life. Now, first of all, we will start with Chapter 1, which is the science of biology. Before we get into the first ch uh, chapter, we need to understand that science is the most important way to gather information about the nature world. We need to analyze the information and apply it to inform the way we have with each other which are, uh, and with other living organisms or other things and with a uh, planet that is the home to all of us. Now, we have scientific mythology including a, a rich and a various way of tools to approach and that we can adapt at different areas to study. In both living and in non-living parts of our world, energy and matter also interact to, in a way that help us to understand how life works. We will get to the details of each one uh, of those uh, chapters in details. We will start with chapter one. Chapter one will talk about the science of biology. Science of biology consists of three lessons, starting of what is science. When we talk about science, science is a process and organized way of observation and asking a question about the nature world. The goal of the science, the goal of science is to provide nature and a testable explanation of for uh, events in the nature world. Science also aims to use these explanation to make useful prediction, uh, prediction about nature, uh, nature events. Now, when we talk about scientific uh, methodology, what does it mean? It's involved observation and asking question, forming hypothesis, conduct, and, uh, con conduct controlled experiments, and collecting and analyzing data, which is the scientific method now we are talking about. After that, we will get into the conclusion. In science, we have the word theory. Theory means to apply to give to a test, make uh, to make sure this theory will apply or not. This is a scientific explanation of events in the nature world that unified many repeated observation and uh, in, in incorporate together to support hypothesis to enable scientists to make accurate prediction. Whenever we are talking about scientific methodology, we are talking uh, method scientific method. We are talking about observation. A hypothesis, controlled experiment, independent variable, dependent variable, control groups, data, and theory. After this, after this lesson, we will move to science uh, in context, mean in details. We'll go through uh, the science in details. We are talking about uh, ideas that are identified, how scientists often work in groups to collaborate and communicate uh, for to do an articles for their observation to make sure that they reach into a specific information. Now, scientists, engineers, and scientific information together interact with society, economy, law, and moral principles to apply scientific information and to involve them for understanding the role of science contents in a society at, as an all. These things together, some uh, of the specific vary for the steps of the scientific inquiry and engineering designs, meaning that even if we choose one way before the others or uh, one way before the other one, it's, it, you will get to the point where you reach to the same conclusion at the end. You will do uh, the process in details as eventually you will get to the conclusion whether your hypothesis go with the theory or go against the theory. You will learn about it in details also. At the end of this chapter, we will finish with uh, lesson three, which is patterns of life, how these life living things are made up uh, of basic units. These are called cells, uh, are based on an universal genetic codes, and they obtain and use materials and energy. They grow, they reproduce, repro uh, and respond to their environment. Hello. Why they are doing this? To maintain a stable internal environment, and, uh, and they are changing over time. The study of biology revolves around several cross-cutting concepts, cause and effect, systems and systems models, stability, change, pattern scale, pro, uh, proportion and uh, quantity, energy of matter and structure and function. These we will go through them also in details. Biology also includes many overlapping fields that use different tools to study life from a molecular level to the plenary level.
when we talk about biology, we are talking about sexual and asexual reproduction. We are talking about DNA, metabolism, stimulus, homeostasis, and how do they all evolve together. By this, uh, uh, this lesson, we will be done from chapter one. Then we will be moving to chapter two. In chapter uh, two, we'll be talking about the chemistry of life, and this uh, chemistry of life will include four lessons, starting with the nature of matters. We will go to relate chemistry to biology. As we talked about in our previous uh, introductory video, we talked that biology always linked to chemistry, and they are also working together to get into biology. It means all the chemical reactions that happen inside your body refer to as a chemical equation, but in your body system. We will start to talk about the nature of matter. Nature of matter means that we are talking about atoms. Atoms are extremely small, and they are made of even smaller particles called proton, neutron, and electron. As you studied in chemistry before, you know that proton and the neutron found inside the nucleus, and the electron electrons were uh, in uh, orbits outside the, uh, the nucleus. A chemical element is a pure substance made of one type of atom. Of the more than 100 elements, only about two dozen are common in living things. However, other elements are important in life in a small amount, meaning we, we still have uh, an elements that are extremely essential in our life and other elements that are important, but not that important in comparing to other elements. Uh, whenever we are talking about the nature of matter, we need to understand the atom, nucleus, electron, element, compo uh, compound, ionic bond, ions, covalent bonds. These we will go through them in detail. One of the major important properties that we need to understand and study is water. What is water? Water is the most essential uh, particles that bind chemistry with biology together. Uh, the chemical component is H2O, which is composed of hydrogen and oxygen together. All living things depend on water. A water molecule, H2O, is a polar one, which means that at one uh, means one of its ends has a slightly positive charge and the other one has a slightly negative charge. Hydrogen bond form between a relatively positive and relatively negative ends of the adjacent uh, uh, molecules, meaning that we, we have a hydrogen bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen. These bonds account for water's uh, special properties, including its ability to dissolve in many other substances. Of course, we're going to go in details about all of the properties of water and why it is important for us to get to know these, uh, these properties. After that, we will go to the carbon uh, component and why it is important for biologists to know about the carbon component, because carbon atoms are able to form long chains that may include in many other elements. These molecules called carbon, carbon compounds uh, are variable and stable. Living things contain a four type of macromolecule based on the carbon. These, uh, these are carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. We will go through each one of them in details. We will talk about the monomers, polymers, and each one of uh, them for and related to carbohydrates, lipid, and nucleic acids, and protein. At the end, we will talk about the chemical reactions and enzymes that, that inhibit or uh, accelerate any reaction using catalase, enzymes, substrate, uh, chemical reaction, reactivating product, reactant, and uh, all of the uh, energy moving into and out to during a chemical reaction. Why we are talking about chemical reaction? As I said before, in biology, we will relate every a chemical equation in your body with uh, the help of um, enzymes and uh, catalase. Chemical reactions always involve change in the chemical bonds and they join atoms in components. Chemical reactions that release energy often occur in, uh, in their own or spontaneously. Other need is an input of energy. So by this, we will be talking about cells, structure and function in details. Also, we'll talk about life, cellular, cell structure, and the transport of atoms and molecules inside them. And eventually, we'll go to chapter nine, which is photosynthesis. Where does it happen? The energy and the life in photosynthesis with an overview about the process, the end product for them, and uh, why we are studying this in biology. Thank you so much. This is going to be, this is, will be ter, uh, the first unit for biology.